back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my fall and Thanksgiving tablescape. So table setups have so many different parts that it sometimes can be hard to try to pull together that final look and that, or that end result that you were hoping for. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the parts that I believe help make a tablescape look aesthetic and beautiful. Hopefully this video is helpful. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing a table needs is a textile base, like a table runner, placemat, or, or a tablecloth. Since this table is really dark, I want to go with something soft and light and that would give a very natural feel to the table. So I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up this gauze table runner in the color ivory. It was 40% off of $7.99. It was a really good deal. So I went with this gauze because it's very translucent and airy and I felt this would set the aesthetic and mood I was looking for. So when laying the table runner on the table, I wanted the texture to give an organic and almost effortless feel. I didn't want a uniform clean line look. So I scrunched it up a little to add dimension and give a cozy feel. This table runner is already starting to lighten up the look. So next is when I want to add florals to the table. You can use garland, but I decided to use some stems that I also picked up from Hobby Lobby. I knew I wanted to add some green to give an earthy natural feel to, to pull in that fall feel. So I chose this green ash leaf spray. So I also want to add in those traditional fall colors of the burnt oranges and yellows. So I grabbed these orange wisteria sprays and yellow spider mum sprays from Hobby Lobby as well. I place the ends of the stems in the middle because I'm going to add a vase in the center. I layered the stems to build a beautiful mixture of colors. So for the centerpiece, I wanted something very simple that tied into the table. So I went for this glass vase I picked up from Ikea years ago. It's perfect because it's tall but clear so guests can see through it. I took the wisteria and spider mums and simply dropped them in here so it looked very minimal. Just as a tip, you can add water to the vase to give a real flower look when using faux flowers. I, I do this in other parts of my house. I love how the colors contrast with, with each other here. Now it's time to add the table settings. I found these beautiful brown natural round woven placemats at Hobby Lobby. These placemats come in a pack of four. The original price is $10.99, but they were 50% off. You can find some nice high-end looking items at Hobby Lobby for a good price. I really love the textures of this design. This shade of brown is a perfect contrast to the dark table. To layer on top of the placemats, I used these plates I got from a thrift store. They were $4.96. I really love the quality because they're heavy and I love the design of the rims. This was such a good steal. It reminds me of something you see from a high-end store. It just adds a nice dimension to the table. Next, I have the appetizer plates that I received as a wedding gift several years ago. They were on our Amazon wedding registry for about $64. 
they are unavailable right now, but I will put the link in the description box in case they become available again. I feel like it's hard to have fall decor without gold. So that's why I added these. I love gold and bringing in this element helps add variety to the table. Gold just adds a great cozy and warm feel for the fall. These plates all have different gold patterns. I usually bring these out when hosting or for the holidays. I just place these on top of the plates. Now let's add in napkins. So I put the napkins in these three ring napkin rings I got from Crate and Barrel a few years ago. So I knew I absolutely wanted a burnt orange napkin to contrast the plates. I had such a hard time finding orange napkins though. I actually happened to find these at Wegmans when I popped in to pick up something I needed for dinner. They were in their home decor section. I've never purchased any decor from Wegmans, but they had some nice stuff in there. These were $11.99 for a four pack. I love how the brown and orange looks together. Now that I added the orange napkins, you can really feel the orange in the space. Next, I added in this gold flatware that I got from Amazon. Since the appetizer plates have gold, I wanted to incorporate gold into another area too to balance out the colors. And next, I added in these Waterford Crystal Glassware I got from Macy's some years ago on sale for $45. I like to pull them out for, a wa for our water for the table. During the holidays, I usually set up a beverage bar or like station with a holiday themed punch, so I have other glasses there. Now it's time to layer in lighting. I picked up these glass candle holders from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love these. I have two different heights, so I place them throughout the table. So I'm adding water to these candle holders because I want to bring in like a very relaxing vibe. I added some tea light candles that I actually had for my wedding several years ago that I've just been working through. I usually bring the, the candle, tea light candles out when having an evening party out on our deck. These candles really add a sophisticated warmth to the table. To finish this off, I added this glass gravy bowl to the table. For Thanksgiving, I always set up a buffet station with all the food and usually just keep the gravy and maybe salt and pepper on the actual table. So some key things that helped me pull this look together was adding variety, but also making sure that I duplicated something twice, whether it's color or texture. Uh, so for instance, the glass, the glass vase related to the glass candle holders 
and the glass drinkware. The gold plates relate to the gold flatware. The yellow florals are repeated at least twice. The orange florals complements the orange napkins. The ivory tablecloth relates to the floating candles. And the brown napkin rings complement the brown placements. This is how I was able to create this beautiful table for fall and Thanksgiving by using simple and affordable combinations of textures, florals, flatware, water, glass, and lights. These same concepts can be used during any season to create an elegant or cozy vibe when you're hosting. So this wraps up my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos, please check out my latest videos. Uh, and please remember to subscribe and share. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.